Good morning, friends. Happy Valentine's Day. Today, I want to focus on God's love for us. His love for us is so great and so vast. So my son, Noah, he's a senior in high school, and he had his uh, senior night, his basketball senior night the other night where they celebrate the seniors. And I had this flashback. So when I was pregnant with him eight, 18 years ago, uh, I would I would track like the size of him each week as he grew. I had this plan and every week it said what size he was. So I remember this one particular week, he was like the size of a raspberry or something. And my husband followed basketball a lot when, you know, he still does because our boys play basketball, but, but he played basketball. And when we were much, much younger and I was pregnant with my son, Noah, uh, we went to this varsity basketball game, the same the same school that 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 we went to, the same school that he had played for, and the same coach that had coached him. And my husband had told his former basketball coach that our son, well, we didn't know if it was a boy or a girl at the time, but that that he was about the size of a raspberry. And he, he had told him that. And I'll never forget, it was like at the doorway right before the players run out and they all cheer for them at the beginning of the game. The coach was standing there and he looked over to my husband and, and I and he did this just kind of it was pretty cool because it was the moment before a really big game and it just showed that he was thinking about our child in that moment that he probably should have been focused on the basketball game. But it was pretty cool that he was thinking about about our baby. And so I had this flashback because senior night was the other night for my son. And he was standing in the doorway, which looked exactly the same as the doorway that, that was in my mind 18 years ago when the coach went like this. He was standing in this doorway, full grown. You know, he's, he's about 5'9 now, full grown. And he's, he's just standing there filling up the whole doorway and he looks over at me and he just gives me a big smile and like a thumbs up or, you know, and it just, it took me back 18 years ago thinking about how he was the size of a raspberry and now he's this fully formed human being that, that God loves so much and that I love so much and just how God had that plan and purpose for him when he was the size of a raspberry and way before, way before that even. And how I've loved him since the moment I found out that I was pregnant with him. I loved him. And just thinking about how God loves us so much more than a parent could ever love their, their child is just, it's just so amazing to think about. So my son Noah, a couple days ago, he sent me this prayer and it said, Dear God, I express gratitude to my mom who has loved me from the beginning. Thank you for every nurturing moment, phone call, hug, compliment, and even the complaints. And, and it was longer than that. But to my mom who loved me from the beginning. And yes, I have loved him from the beginning. From the moment I found out that 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 he was growing inside me, I loved him. But think about how God loved us even way before our parent found out that they were expecting us. And Psalm 139 verse 13, for you created my inmost being. This is David speaking. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I have am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place. When I was woven together in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed body and all the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. So beautiful that, that God saw us. He knit us together in our wonders, in our mother's womb, and we are fearfully and we are wonderfully made. And our frame was not hidden from, from him. And First John 14, we love because he first loved us. So the love that we have for, for our children and our family members, we have because God first loved us so much. Uh, he sent his son Jesus for us. And Ephesians 1, 4 in the message, long before he laid down earth's foundations, he had us in mind. Friend, long before God laid down earth's foundations, he had you in his mind. He had settled on you as the focus of his love. He had settled on us as the focus of his love to be made whole and holy by his love. And Jeremiah 1, Jeremiah 1 verse 5. I knew you before I formed you in your mother's womb. So God is om omniscient. He is all knowing and and he he just he knows everything. God is so good. 
So I want to pray for your day, friend. Father, thank you so much for this day, Lord. Thank you for my friend that's listening. And I pray that they would feel your great love today, God. Um, Lord, we don't need to receive a Valentine today from a human to know that we are loved. We are loved so deeply and so greatly by you to think that you knew us when we were the size of a raspberry in our mother's womb and way before that, um, way before the creation of the world, you had your eye on us, God. You had your mind on us. You had your focus on us and you knew us before you formed us in our mother's womb. Thank you, Lord, for your great love for us. Thank you for sending Jesus for us. And thank you, Lord, that we can, uh, we can love others because you first loved us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great day, friend.